Hey guys, what's up? Welcome out to the shop today. So I went to the store earlier today to pick up some items that I'm going to be using for the go-kart, trying to get it to run. First thing I said yesterday is I needed a pull string, so that was one of the first things that I went ahead and looked for was a pull cord for the engine. So now we got that, we can actually tie this in and try to see if the engine will even turn over. The go-kart's been sitting for quite some time now, so I went ahead and picked up some oil just to make sure that everything was going to be all right. And last but not least, I went ahead and had my boys pick out some paint for the frame. I'm going to be painting the wheels black and they picked out this red color to paint the frame. And in case it's not going to start very well, I went ahead and bought some carburetor and choke cleaner stuff just to see if that's going to help if it doesn't turn over. Maybe I can get some stuff worked loose. I have no clue what this engine is going to entail. And I also want to go ahead and pick up a spark plug probably today. So let's go ahead and start by putting the pull cord on first. Who wants to undo this? Alright, let me break it loose first. And then I'll let you guys undo them. So we can get all that stuff off. Alright, cool. one of you guys first. Turn it. And pull it towards you. Pull it towards you. Now pull it towards you. There you go. Keep going. Keep spinning it. That one's done. Alright, now do that one. That one is. Keep going, keep going. That's how you take it and turn it to go the other way. Go ahead and pull. See, there you go. Now wrap it back. Now do it again. It's hard. Push. This way. This way. Go that way. Push. Now ratchet it. Yep, now do it again. There you go. I always want to be a workshop worker. Me too. Oof. Look at all that dirt that's sitting in there in the bottom. This thing's been sitting for quite some time. Yeah. Look at all that dirt. So I'm trying to put the pull cord back into this reel right here. I was having a real hard time trying to get it through both these holes. This is all riveted together. I did not want to cut these rivets apart. So what I ended up doing is using this picture line, this reel of like a picture wire line, like a fishing lure, a fishing hook. I threaded it right in through the end right there of the line and then looped it back onto itself, causing it like a little hook. And then it would pull right through the hole without having to bunch any of this up onto itself. It was very effective. I tried it kind of hooking it on its own by itself before and it didn't work. It bunched up at the smaller hole and then I started looking at it and tried to poke it right through the end and then looping it on itself and that worked perfect. So now I've got it through all the holes. I guess I need to figure out which way I gotta wind it now. So I've gotten the new strain in and I went ahead and attached it to the motor and I was going to give it a nice little start or at least try to see if it would turn over or anything and I think I'm pretty sure that the spring has sprung. When I pull the string, there's there's no, there's a little bit but I don't think, I think it's supposed to have definitely a lot more than what's there. I know it's wound correctly because when I pull it, the little white fingers in here that are supposed to catch the shaft are actually coming out correctly. So I think that the spring just isn't very reactive anymore to the to how it's supposed to work. If you guys know why it's doing that or if a way that I can check it or make it a little bit better or if something else is wrong, 
let me know. Leave it in the comment section down below. I'm going to leave this sitting here until I get some feedback on it. I know the engine's not locked up. I've already been spinning that, so that's good. But I need to find out a place to get a new spring, I guess, or opt to get a new motor like I was saying. I can find one for about 100 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and work on getting the main frame and everything like that all painted up. I'm going to take off the engine. Let's go get that done. So I've gone ahead and I've gotten the entire frame all painted. The bottom I was done first, then the top. I've gotten the steering wheel all cleaned up and I spray painted that enamel black as well. And I tried to detail kind of the petals, giving it a different color. Kind of bled over into the red and stuff like that. But come on, this is a yard car. This is just to play on and have fun here in our yard. No big deal. If this was something that I wanted to really like show off and take to shows, I wouldn't even mess with it. There's so much rust on there and stuff that it's not really worth it. But I wanted to spray it, give it a different color so that the rust would not, I guess, continue or take off what rust I had and then cover the metal up so I didn't have to worry about it re-rusting on itself. So we're getting a lot closer. I really like how it's going along. I still got the engine to consider on what we're doing, but all the wheels are off. I'm going to be doing those the next time, cleaning those up, getting all the dirt and debris out of those, cleaning off the rims, and then giving those a coat of paint as well so that they don't continue rusting. Hope you guys are enjoying this little series. I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like button. If you guys have any comments or questions, just leave them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video.